Is your check engine light on and your engine's running rough? It may be a bad ignition coil. I'm going to show you how to diagnose it. So at this point, the first thing we want to do is scan the vehicle with a scan tool and see what kind of codes we have. So you probably have a P0300, which just basically says there's a misfire detected. It doesn't tell specifics. And then you may have other misfires detected, a 303 or a 306. 306 is probably where our fault is. It could be 303 also. Um, and then some primary, secondary circuit codes, random misfires. Oh, and those are all history codes. So that's a good starting point. We want to check out cylinder number six and then maybe cylinder number three. So this engine's running rough. It's kind of hard to visually see it. But with a scan tool, I can actually see the misfire count going up. So we know there's a problem with cylinder number six, one through four. Once in a while, I get a misfire from number three. I'm not that concerned with that one. That one's probably spillover from another one. And then go up to cylinder six is the constant one. So we want to check out cylinder number six. Now we need to determine where cylinder number six is. Generally on the engine, wherever the front of the engine is, the head that's closest to the front of the engine is going to be the bank one head, which is going to be your odd cylinders, one, three, five, seven, and the other bank would be two, four, six, eight. Uh, not always the case, it's always good to look them up, but this, in this vehicle, this happens to be cylinder number one. So bank two is on this side. So the third one back would be cylinder number six. So this is cylinder two, this is four, six, and eight. Now I'll disconnect the connector for number six. Just take a look at the connector and make sure it's not melted. I don't see anything melted. You could drag test the terminals um, to double check them. Now I'm gonna pull this coil out. Just using a 10 millimeter socket. Take a look at the coil. I don't see anything melted on the coil there either. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to swap the coil with another one. And we'll see if the misfire moves. So this is cylinder number four. Just disconnect the connector here. And stick that one in number six. Since we didn't have a misfire on cylinder four, Connect the connector, put the bolt back in. And put the bad coil that we assume is bad in number four. And tighten these up. And we'll start the engine and check the scan tool and see if it moved. All right, so now we check cylinder number four and we see cylinder number four is actually misfiring. So. Our misfire did move. If I go to look at cylinder number six, it's not misfiring. So we know the problem is with the coil. Now we know that ignition coil is bad. It's always a good idea to replace all the ignition coils at once. And while you're doing that, replace your spark plugs.